So this is the pre-party to the carnival uh, weekend or the week. And this is in Sao Paulo City, Sao Paulo. So take a look at it and I hope you guys enjoy. And so you see what's going on here. Pay attention to what's going on here. The dynamics. It's a big situation going on here. Big celebration here. Uh, carnival here is... Bigger than most carnivals, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. It's it's looking thick in here. God has opened up the skies for us tonight or today. So we're gonna see. What's going on. I want you to see everybody that's behind me over there. A lot of people. Yeah, I got Indian shit on. Oh, they moved. No. No. Oh, they got the burgers here. Oh, we gotta see that. Look at that shit right there. Ooh. Fire. The burger guys right there. He's got a burger. All right, put it on me. This good, this good man. Here and there's a lot of people here. This is lit. This is a movie. So you want to understand what it is. You want to understand what it is for carnival in Brazil. And this is what it is. People eating on the side. Oye, by YouTube, Estados Unidos. Fala inglês. Só só. Fala inglês. So as you can see, um, some people speak English, some people not. Sao Paulo, particularly in my experience and my two weeks there, most of the Japanese people spoke English. Um, they were very shy and apprehensive about it, but they spoke English better than some people in America but um, as you see um, one of the guys was he told me later he was of Japanese descent okay hold up hold up hold up, hold up. we got to stop the music there's something that just came to my mind while I was watching this replay of the video trying to get to this particular spot that you guys are watching right now was hell I got Different people giving me different directions. Later on in the video, you'll see a group of girls that finally helped me get there. That group of girls and two Afro-Brazilians that helped me get there. The people that worked in the park, and I did a video about the people that worked in the park, it was almost like they didn't want me to find that place. They were saying it was over, it ended, go home, um, you should probably go home. I was like, what? I can hear the music. Like, it was really weird that they didn't want to help me. Some people wanted to help me, but they couldn't. I couldn't understand them. They couldn't understand me. Finally, um, the group of girls that you'll see later, they had stopped to go to the bathroom. They said, go ahead, I'll meet you. Go. They gave me some directions. But when I got there, I couldn't find what they were saying is the monument. So as I was talking to somebody else, the two Afro-Latino, uh, Afro-Brazilians stopped by and said, oh, you speak English. And they started talking to me. And 
they told me where to go. This is all in between um, separating from the four girls and the four teenage girls, separating from the four teenage girls, and then um, finding the Afro-Brazilians that the park, the park workers or whatever they were, were giving me, were kind of like telling me to go home. So there was a good lapse in between that time. So finally, as the um, they were telling me where to go, the Afro Brazilians, they were telling me to, where, to, where to go. The four girls sh like walked up behind me. I was like, "Yo, let's go!" So they we walked to that spot, and here we are. Um, so before y'all say anything, the teenage girls heard me speaking English. They spoke English, Italian. They spoke a few languages. And they they were from uh, one of the schools. They went to a, a prominent school there, so that's where they learned. So they were helping me go because they were going to the same place. Um, you'll see them later um, in the video or at some point soon. Um, but this is a family um, set, vent, uh, vent, uh, selling things on the in the park. Um, it's funny because he was the, the father. That's the father. He was telling me he got four kids like back to back, and I was like, Jesus, you don't got no TV? He was like, No. He has them tattooed under his rib. And um, I guess he was a little lit. I was a little lit. And then he was just talking. Uh, pretty cool family, man. Uh, really nice people. They helped me um, understand a few things. And pretty nice. Like, they could have easily took advantage of me on prices. But they actually said, no, bro, we got a special for beer. You, got, you bought one, you get another one. It's pretty cool.
y'all see that it's raining here and we get rained on. Cheeks is coming through. Moon hot is. <laughs> Thank you. 
They give no fucks. There are zero fucks given right now. And Sao Paulo.
Yo falo con ustedes. 